Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and I make cleaning and lifestyle videos. So if you like that type of content, please subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a versus. I used to do these early on in my channel uh, where I would do a sort of a battle of the cleaners one against another. Today I'm going to be trying out um, Windex versus this is Sprayway glass cleaner. Now I've used the Windex before, but I have never used Sprayway before. It says it's the world's best glass cleaner, so we're going to try it out and see how it goes. It looks pretty simple. It does say to shake the can and remove the lid and spray it, and then to wipe with a cloth. So we're just going to see how it goes. Windex and Windex I've used you know most of my life. I've always really liked this product. It's very reliable and consistent in what it does. So we're going to try this one out with it. I'm going to be using this on my bathroom mirror, which you can see over here, and I'm going to turn it just so you can see a little better. I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Windex at the very top of the mirror, and then I'm going to use the sprayway on the bottom half. I will try to be careful not to combine them too much, so and I'll give you my overall opinion on which one I think did a better job cleaning. Um, I do have a cloth to wipe with um, because that's what the sprayway says to use. Although I do prefer to use paper towels when I'm trying out glass cleaner, so if this doesn't cut it, I might pull out the paper towels and see how that goes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start just with the Windex and I'll just do the top half of the mirror and I'm going to show you a quick before too so you can see what the mirror looks like. There is some spotting. It's not super dirty but there's definitely some spots and streaks on this mirror. Alright so you can see the mirror. There's some spotting but it's not super dirty but we definitely should be able to see a difference after we clean it. I'm just going to give a few sprays to the top half of the mirror with the Windex. Stop it from running. Yeah, so I can already see a big difference on the mirror. It looks nice and bright and clean. There's no streaking, everything looks really good. It looks like a brand new mirror as far as I can tell. So let's go ahead and try the spray weight and see what we think about it. I'll give it a little shake first. And I am going to be putting on the glove and I'm only doing this because I'm pregnant so I'm being a little more cautious with cleaners and things. I'm going to go ahead and shake this. Yeah and I think the packaging is pretty nice. I mean it's nothing fancy but I think it's it's simple and it's effective. I mean, this is what the sprayer looks like. It's just a little button that you push to push down. Okay, so that came out really easy. I liked how it foamed up. It foams really nicely and it sprayed really well. And it has a nice scent to it. It's just sort of a clean smell to it. I'd say it's like a linen scent, which I think is pretty good. It is a little bit on the strong side though for the smell. So if you don't like strong smells, you might not want the you might not like the sprayway if you don't like strong scents because it is pretty strong. And I'm gonna take a cleaning rag here. Okay, so it's interesting. Where I sprayed the sprayway, you can actually see there's a little bit of streaking left on the mirror. It almost looks like there's a fog as opposed to the top half. Um, the top is, is very clear and down here you can see a foggy area where there's some streaking. Definitely not very impressed with the sprayway. It left streaks. I mean the mirror's probably clean but it doesn't really do you any good if you can't see because there's a foggy residue on it. Now maybe I could go over it and clean it with something else but I, won't, I really don't want to work that hard. I definitely think that the Windex was the best of these two and you'll be able to see in the mirror the difference between the top and the bottom. The top looks clean and clear and the sprayway just did not do a great job. It smells nice and the packaging's nice but it just didn't work so it's kind of disappointing because I always like having other options if I don't have something. I was really hoping I'd be impressed with it. It does not live up to its name as world's best glass cleaner. I think I'm going to be sticking to using Windex in the foreseeable future. 
I haven't found any glass cleaner so far that has been able to compete with Windex. I have tried a few others, and I'll probably try some others along the way too. Yeah, you can definitely see that the bottom half is streaky and the other half is gone. Now it did remove the water spots and dirt and debris that were there, but it left a streak afterwards, so unless you like streaky glass for some reason, you definitely want to stick with the Windex. So we have our winner is Windex. Oh, and I also want to add up prices for each product. So I'll put a price for the Windex and the Sprayway above. I'm pretty sure the Windex was more expensive. It was probably twice the cost. Um, I think it was three or four dollars. and This was under two dollars for the bottle. For me, it's definitely worth the extra cost for the Windex as this just was not impressive at all. In fact, I think I'm probably going to go back and clean the whole mirror with the Windex just to get it clear looking. Anyways, that's the video. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, be sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. Anyways, I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you all have a beautiful day today. Bye!